Riddle me this. Does this look like a man that is feeling triumphant after defeating his mentor and friend in combat? Or is this a man that is realizing that they might have truly messed up if this man dies here? This may be the thoughts running through Aoki's mind while the legendary hero Garp lays before him laughing in defeat. But laughing in defeat or at death's door is just a trait of those of the D-Clan. Now normally this wouldn't have much meaning as Garp accomplished his goal and that was to free Kobe and all the hostages on Pirate Island. Now going over the chapter itself, Garp's own teaching is to sacrifice the old for the young as the youth is the future that needs protecting and doing what's right at times is stupid if it doesn't give the future a chance to form. We can conclude that Aoki is the only reason Garp isn't off that damn island. Let's be honest here, Garp has a soft spot for those he deems close to him and Aoki is one such person, so even if Iwaki was going all out he knew Garp wasn't. So, as the two fought he was always trying to talk him down. Garp's generation is beyond broken. An example of this would be Whitebeard's fight with Roger. This took place on an unknown island years before the start of the series. Matching that clip just shows that while this generation believes that Devil Fruits are the apex ability, those that master hockey know that it isn't. Vice Admiral Garp's training routine to strengthen both body and spirit shows that with hockey alone one could do this to a city. Even after doing that Garp was upset that if it was at least 10 years earlier there would be no rubble left just flattened land. This chapter proves that Kobe had the means to free himself if only he believed he could before being put in a do or die situation, thus he went on to live up to Garp's expectations and created his variation of the meter fist, a new technique dubbed the Honesty Impact. This allowed everyone to leave Pirate Island. Well, the moment Garp arrived he, as he put it master, gave everyone some monkey D. So from chapter 1081 to 1088 Garp went the way of the rock and laid the smack down on Pirate Island. Even Ayuki got those hands too, but if it wasn't for him saving Kobe Garp would have never gotten hurt and could have escaped with everyone. That one is kinda hard to say, as the island island fruit did give everyone a bit of a scare, but Vice Admiral Garp for the most part came in like Optimus Prime did in the original Transformers movie, all badass in hardcore. But like with Prime his subordinate caused his downfall, but that didn't stop him from putting on the hurt in Smackdown. But Aoki's look has you wonder, if he's having second thoughts on the outcome? Well, taking down Garp in itself, is a feat to be made into legends. Being the crew that took him down would raise up their credibility amongst other pirates. With that being said, you have to also remember that unlike with most people, Garp spawned the two most dangerous people in the world, his son and grandson. It's not a secret that he is highly upset at how they both didn't follow in his footsteps. The dents he left in his ship bags is proof that his anger of that fact isn't something just for show. But even if he got over it and just let them be, it could be for a different reason. But this could lead to an unexpected team up as neither Dragon nor Luffy had a reason to cross paths. And now that the true big bad of One Piece has been revealed, Blackbeard lost his final boss status. One of the reasons Teach wanted Aoki on his crew is the classified information Aoki would know having been an admiral in the Marines. The true name and abilities of Luffy's Devil Fruit is one and all the Choas Dragon truly caused that wasn't reported. Just facing one of them would be a headache as they both being Garp's kin, if a team up of the two were to happen then, who knows the mayhem they would cause to the island. But Master, I don't think Garp life is in any danger, seeing as Blackbeard's original plan was to use Kobe as a bargaining ship to become one of the world kings. Garp would be a better fit for that role as Garp is world renowned and his defeat will already flip the world upside down. Killing him would put Blackbeard into a bigger bind as Kobe and Garp's underlings would want payback for his death as they would have survivor's guilt. Then there is both Luffy and Dragon, Garp's son and grandson in which the apple didn't fall far from the tree. All this is going on while Blackbeard takes down Law with his heart pirates. How Blackbeard is going to react once news of this reach him will be interesting to see as Garp's storyline could be what brings his family together. So this look on Aoki's face could be him planning for what might happen next and I don't see it going well if the world government doesn't agree to his demands. But if they did I'm sure Emu would have an easier time offing Blackbeard as he has shown he is in it for reasons outside of what he says. As the saying goes, fool me once shame on you, fool me twice shame on me. But the only thing I don't like is how you're going to take a break, drop this bomb on us, just to take a break again. Y'all wrong for that. 